Hello everybody, I am doing a video response for Jessica, who is Kylie's mom, 01-2005 here on YouTube. She is having a giveaway right now and it ends April 1st. So I will put a link down to her giveaway video below and you guys can go check out. And She has three different things you can do to enter to win. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I store my paper pads. So I have this cube right here, this 9 cube stand and I keep all of my 6 by 6 pads in this green bin and basically what I do is I just label them all on top of what they are what company and the name of the paper pad and I also do keep my smaller paper pads in here too my four and a half by six and a half paper pads so I keep all of that in here and some of them are brand new and I haven't even written on them yet, so they're just sitting in there. But that's where I store all of my 6x6 six six paper pads. And then for like my 12x12s, 12 12, I'm going to show you how I store those. So I'm going to put my hand over the camera so you guys don't get dizzy. So for my 12x12s, 12 12s, if you guys all watched my craft room tour, you will see, you know, what my room looks like and where everything's located. But I have this... Um, it actually was like a cube stand, and I believe it's by Closet Made, and I picked it up at Target, and basically what I did is instead of having it in like the cubes, like I did my white stand, I just put it all straight up and down, and this is where I store all of my 12 by 12s and I connected all the shelves with zippy strips, but I need another shelf because this one's just got way too much paper in it. But I keep all of my 12 by 12s right here, and I also label them so I know what company and what stack I'm going for. And I do keep, like, this is an 8 by 8, so I keep those up here, and some of my 8.5 by 11s I keep up here too. So that's where I store those. And now for my stamps, I'm going to cover the camera again so I can show you how I store my stamps. I have actually have the drawer open right now because I just got done doing... A video and yeah it's kind of a mess in here so this is where I keep all of my stamps um, all of my loose stamps like when I first started crafting I put them all in these plastic sleeves they're like baseball card sleeves which I wish I never would have done it because I'm not sure which company they're from or anything like that but that's okay so I actually have them in there and all of my wood stamps are here on top. I also do have a lot of my wood stamps hanging up on a shelf. And then in here I just have some of my dollar ones, my SPN company. They're not really organized by anything. But all of these drawers are completely full of stamps. And then this one has like all of my girl stamps in here. And then more stamps and these are a lot of my um, TPC Studio and Fiskars there's an SPN company but I just keep them all in here and then this bottom one I have some of the Amuse Studio and Stampin' Up stamps Peachy Keen stamps, my Craft Lounge stamps I keep all of those in here and I'll show you how where my other wood stamps are, I don't have very many on my shelf but I do keep some there so I'm going to cover you back up so then I keep some of my wood stamps also up here, but for the ones that are in the package, I keep them in that stand, and it seems to really, really work. So that's where I keep some of my wood stamps. All of my 12 by 12s are there, and my room is literally a mess. And I keep all of my 6 by 6 paper pads down here. So that is how I store my paper and where and how I store my stamps. So thank you so much for this awesome challenge, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.